Listen, can we talk? Let's talk about something that's been making waves in the deep blue. Researchers have uncovered over 5,000 brand new species lurking beneath the surface of the Pacific Ocean. This massive discovery zone is located between Hawaii and Mexico, stretching out about 3,100 miles. Oh, and did I mention 88 to 92% of these species have never seen the light of day before? You wanna talk about it? Let's get cryptic. All right, Monica, now get this. The treasure trove of newfound species is nestled in a place called the Clarion Clipperton Zone, where the sun barely makes an appearance and the food is scarce. Now, this zone isn't just home to these remarkable creatures. It's also hosting some potato-sized polymetallic nodules, which are like a hidden treasure trove of minerals, including copper, nickel, cobalt, iron, manganese, and those elusive red earth elements. Hmm, you see me squinting my eyes? Okay, now catch this T. The deep sea mining industry that has its sights set on this zone, they're ready to dig in for those precious minerals. The International Seabed Authority is keeping a watchful eye on this underwater mining escapade, giving contracts to 16 companies to explore the depths. And guess what? Those mining dreams date all the way back to the 1960s. Talk about a long game plan. Now these ecologists and biologists weren't just sitting around twiddling their thumbs. No bam, no ham, no turkey, no burger. They knew they had to get the scoop on what was at stake for these mining companies to start digging. They took the plunge into the Clarion and Clipperton zone to understand its secrets. And let me tell you, it's a gold mine of diversity down there. Now my Shiro, Muriel Rabon, a deep sea ecologist from the Natural History Museum of London said it best. We share this planet and all this amazing biodiversity, and we have a responsibility to understand it and protect it. You go, lady. So how the hell did they get all of this hot tea, you ask? You know I'ma spill it. They set sail on research cruises, collected samples, and went through a whopping 100,000 records of creatures they found during their underwater explorations. The most popular guest list down there, arthropods, worms, echinoderms, by the way, iconoderms are like the spiky superstars of the underwater world. Think of them as the sea's edgy fashion icons, strutting their stuff with those unique spines and textures. We're talking about sea urchins, sea stars, and those also oh she sea cucumbers. Iconoderms are like the divas of the deep, bringing their spiky flair to the ocean's catwalk. Now, let's get back to the tea. The most popular guest list down there, arthropods, worms, echinoderms, and even a carnivore sponge. Oh yes, you heard me right, a carnivore sponge. Now the drama and plot thickens, Monica, because the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, has something to say about this deep sea mining business. Catch this tea. They worry it could do some serious damage. Mining for those polymetallic nodules could actually wreak havoc on the seabed habitat and the life in those mine areas. This ain't just speculation, folks. It's been simulated in the Eastern Pacific. Woo, so Monica, there you have it. Let's keep our eyes on this unfolding story. With 5,000 new species and a whole lot of minerals in the mix, it's like a real life underwater adventure. Be sure to follow Cryptics Media, like this video, share if you care, and let's keep this conversation going. Until next time, remember to protect our ocean's treasures, both old and new.